my first video of the year with such beautiful weather as we're here just next to the London Eye I figured we might as well just do a really typical tourist day we're gonna start with the London Eye then we're gonna go and see Big Ben and after Big Ben we're gonna go across to Trafalgar Square we're gonna see St James's Park and then I think we're gonna finish somewhere nice like Covent Garden maybe but let's enjoy this crisp weather it is pretty cold though, so we're gonna try and stay in the sun as much as we can. So yeah, first first attraction of the day, first sight, the London Eye. I was gonna say it's a perfect day to go on the London Eye, but it looks like it's stopped for some reason. Just can't believe they shut it. On all the days it would be perfect to go on there. And they're doing work on it. Why didn't they just do work when it was a cloudy day? I don't get it. Why would you pick today? It's literally perfect weather to go on that. If I wasn't alone, I would be going on the London Eye right now. I still never even been on it. Oh, there's a cool police boat. Check this out. Look at how crisp and beautiful Big Ben looks. Gotta be careful out here. You know, cars go slowly, you can quite easily get mashed. All right, let's try and find a way to cross this bad boy. If you notice all of these new bollards that are up on the side, these like metal bollards that have been put everywhere, it's because there was that crazy terrorist attack a few years ago on this bridge. Some nut bar decided to drive on the pavement and just mow down people GTA style. Really shit. Little bit still pan action. I think there's some kind of protest going on. One thing about Big Ben and this area around Houses of Parliament is that um, it's where a lot of like protests tend to happen. So I think there is some kind of protest going on over there. Oh, it's an anti-Tory protest. I can get in with that 100%. This grass over here is where a lot of the protests tend to happen. If they like people got protesting boards or they set up camp or something, they always do it on this green. It's like protesters green, you know. Have a good day. You need Jesus. She she says you need Jesus. Don't think I need Jesus. So today, because they're protesting, we can't go on the green, unfortunately. We kind of miss the sunny view, actually. This Tory government. So I guess they block off the green. They don't want to load the tents on there. But you know what protesters are like. If you get enough of them together, they'll be, they'll be on that green with their tents, mate. Don't worry. It's a bit annoying though, because uh, we've got a really good view here. But that green is a nice little place to chill. We don't have it today. It's stunning. We made it. We made it! And it's actually so empty compared to what I thought. I didn't think it was going to be this quiet. And there is uh, Nelson's column. Let's get a little shot with the lions. Let's get the obligatory tourist shot, come on. Now a lot of the time they got signs that says like, don't climb the lions, like this one. But whenever there's enough people here, or sometimes when there's a protest, people come here, people all over those lions, mate. Don't you worry, people riding its back, they're on its head, people lifting their kids up there and shit. It's a good view.
pretty chill, um, pretty chill area to hang out. When you come up these stairs, usually like to the National Gallery, you usually got people playing music. The second person today playing Coldplay. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna fucking hit someone. This is not Coldplay weather, man. Come on. This should be like, this should be like um, Mr. Blue Sky or or you two. Like it's a beautiful day or something, you know? Oh my God. It made me cry, man. You're gonna make me cry, bro. Please. Here's the National Gallery. I recommend it. All right, so you come away from Trafalgar Square. You got that view there. Oh, we're gonna hit the best of the sun, I swear. This is the best way to go. We're gonna be warm again, guys. We're gonna be warm again. Come away from the square, hit the mall. The mall, the mall, the mall, the mall. And uh, let's go behind all this construction work. I think we've timed this perfectly. And uh, we're gonna enter the park just as the sun is, just as the sun's coming down over the palace. Spectacular. I don't know how we've timed this so well. So this park, the park that's next to uh, Buckingham Palace is called St. James's Park. And one cool thing about this park, other than the fact it has a lake, is that if you come at the right time, which is no way of knowing, they've got these pelicans in here, right? And sometimes they're right beside the lake and other times they're not. They're like in the middle of the lake on some rocks. I can't believe how dead it is here. It's hardly anyone. It's literally one of the best days I've seen for exploring. Oh, a squirrel. Hey, buddy. I got the goods. I got the goods, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on, little guy. Come on. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you so cute. I want to take you home. Let's go and see if we can see. Oh, I think I can see them. Yo, we might not have to walk around the whole lake. I think I can see the damn pelicans. I think there's a story behind these pelicans. I'm not so good with the history, but I think something to do with Prince Charles. Um, I think it was him. They received a gift from somebody and uh, they were like, yeah, just have some pelicans. I'll bring them over. The last time I came here with my friend, we walked around the whole lake and then we finally, we finally found them and they were like in the middle of the water, we couldn't even get there, so. Oh, those poor birds, they did look a little bit cold to be fair. They, uh, they look like somebody sold them a dream like a holiday brochure and uh, it's not what they expected when they got there. They were shivering a little bit. Oh, the beautiful sun. That's amazing right there. Oh, undies, undies. Someone's in trouble. Someone's in trouble. All right. A bit more of that beautiful sun. Ah, oh, you can't get too much of that beautiful sun. All right, we're gonna walk a slightly different way. We're gonna run. We're gonna make it across the road, mate. I don't know, mate. It's fucking man. All right, we're fine. Here we are at the Senate half. Hang on a minute. Is this one Nelson's column or is it the other one? I don't care. It's some sort of column, some erection. Happened a long time ago. Big erection. We're gonna reach next. It's getting even colder, guys. Why, it's no problem. I was in Prague just a month ago, the beginning of December. It was minus 10, mate. And uh, since then, I think I've had a bit of practice for the cold. It's not that deep now. It's honestly not that bad.
I don't know what that is, but that didn't used to be there. What have they done to it? You know, it's funny when you think about it. I think this is like London's Times Square. Because it's strange how a place... Okay, I don't know what the monument's actually for. Probably Battle of Piccadilly or some shit, right? But it's weird how it can become a tourist attraction just because of some advertising screen. But that's literally what it is. It's just some advertising. There's like a bit of a kind of roundabout. That's it. There's not really anything else going on. But don't worry, guys. One day we'll be up there. I'll be seeing myself on those screens. We'll be gracing the lights of these adverts. All right, we're gonna head into the West End now, which is where a lot of the theaters are. You can see a lot of shows. Maybe we can grab a coffee somewhere. It's not too cold. We're actually kind of come at the best time because this is when all the lights look really nice. Very charming. Now we're heading some of the seedy alleyways of London, the dirty quarter. All right, for the finale of today's tourist loop video, we've come to probably the most touristy place in London. We've come to Chinatown, perched just between Leicester Square and Soho. Chinatown, in fact, isn't where all the Chinese people in London live. In fact, hardly anyone lives here. I don't want to get squashed by a car. So in fact, hardly anyone lives here. But what's cool about Chinatown is this place where you can get all your Asian needs met. Not just Chinese food, Vietnamese food, Japanese food, Korean food. So a little bit of everything Asian really. So behind us is the main strip, probably the most well-known part of Chinatown. And actually, it's surprisingly quiet considering how busy Chinatown usually is. So let's take a walk up this main strip and uh, take in the vibe of Chinatown. This is kind of some of the uh, cakes. Cakes and pastries and rolls, donuts, cream cakes. They kind of look like yum yums. But they got everything. Almost every single place here that you see, you can get these like crispy roast ducks. I think they're ducks or chickens. I think it's duck. Right now we're on one of the darker alleyways. This bit is always kind of a bit shady looking. The reason this bit usually looks kind of sketchy is just because it's like fucking dark as fuck. I think that's going to bring the end of this tourist loop video to, to, to fruition, guys. I think that's going to be the finale. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, let me know which one is the best one that we visited in the comments. And in, if, it's, if, if it's one that you really like that we haven't actually visited, then put that down there as well. Uh, but until then, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.